Hello everybody, it's Tonic TZW, and this is World of Warships Legends. I am here in the Tier 6 American Battleship North Carolina, and the map is Tears of the Desert. Now, you'll often hear me say when I'm live streaming that I don't often play battleships, and I don't, although I've tried to get into them more and more as... Um, some of my friends have encouraged me to steer away from destroyers and uh, try and mix things up a little bit in the game. And I've been enjoying it, and this is one game that I did particularly enjoy, although at times I was incredibly frustrated with the behaviour of some of the members of the blue team. Um, there is a carrier who seems to be clueless about flying his planes around, although I think he finishes the game um, with a reasonable score. But uh, you know, when you're trying to um, take on the majority of red team, not in one occasion, but actually on two occasions in this map, as you see the game develop. Now, we decide to split from the centre and head towards the right. Now, you say don't abandon a cap, but in this map, um, really, if you push into centre, you're going to get a very nasty crossfire. And it generally tends to be easier to um, hold one side and push one side and then come all the way around. Now, from this side... Um, I know that everybody always likes to try and get behind that island and uh, stop the blue team from pushing there. And that Belfast, he, I think he probably tried to slow down and stop before the corner to get a smoke out, but he overran it and we repaired him with a citadel for doing so. So we, we hit him for what, 18, 18 and a half thousand damage as he came around the corner. But we know there's a Weimar there, there's a now there, and there is a Queen Elizabeth coming in too, so we have got four ships against us, and for whatever reason, our cruiser goes steaming straight out towards the capture point against all of those before support has got a chance to get into place, and he's taken off the map in the opening minutes of the game. Now the Belfast does a similar thing, he pushes out, why, I don't know, um, but looking back at the replay, he drops a smoke on the corner, then I think he's going to try and kite and fire. Now we've already clattered him, and we're waiting to see how far he's going to turn, and somebody picks up the kill. Now the Weimar is going to be sat in the smoke on the corner of that map, and he's going to do what Weimars do. He's going to sit and he's going to spam as much HE as he can while somebody is spotting for him. Um, now I don't know what is spotting for him because I don't see any planes up, I don't see any other ships, and uh, so I don't see how he can see what is to be shot at. Now the guy is now pulls forward, you know, he could have pulled forward at an angle, he doesn't, he pulls out completely broadside to us. Um, we are obviously seen by some measure, and uh, the Gnaiz now starts opening up on those guys in front. And before I get spotted, I'm going to bang a volley out there as well. Now the thing is, with the North Carolina, is for some reason the guns seem to be very trolley. On one occasion, those shells will fly like laser beams across the map and punch holes through um, whatever it is you're up against. On other occasions, you may as well be pointing all of those guns in different directions or tossing a handful of frozen peas at a target because they just bounce off. And uh, I know perhaps that I'm not the greatest battleship player in the world, but sometimes I line up a shot and I pull that trigger and I know I'm guaranteed some hits and then it ends up doing absolutely nothing. Now, Scharnhorst here on the, my right side has taken the brunt of this Weimar so far, and then he starts diverting his attention to me. So, I'm going to pull in front of the Scharnhorst, he's within will to rebuild, and just draw that fire away from him so that he has a chance for his fires to go out. Now, the Queen Elizabeth is pushing out to one side, and that is ideal for the Red Team to get here flanking fire on us. 
but in doing so given up quite a bit of broadside and uh, we will punish that and at the same time we're turning back towards this island to push in closer so that the Weimar hasn't got the ability to put his shots across the top. Now all the while there are three battleships pushing in here and sooner or later they are going to have to make a move because they literally have put themselves in a spot that they can't get out of. Now we've already missed the kill on the Belfast and uh, we know the Weimar's out there, he's going to want to pull forward. But uh, we're going to save our shot, we're going to put it on that QE out there and hope that we get some decent shots on. So we land a decent chunk of health and I'm asking the guys there to you know, pick up this kill, get them off the map while we can't be hit by the Weimar, get that Queen Elizabeth off the map and uh, then we can push in against the other ships. But it appears that nobody is interested in finishing off the Queen Elizabeth, so I'll line up and go for another shot again. And I'll walk the shells along, give them a little bit of a spread, and hopefully that will be the end of the Queen Elizabeth for the first kill. Now the Weimar um, is still behind his rock. The Scharnhorst, I think, has pushed out wide to try and get shots around the island. But he's putting himself in harm's way from both the Gneisenau and the um, Weimar. So I'm making sure that we're in will to rebuild range just in case he gets lit on fire again. Um, I can't remember what the battleship is to our left but he's pushed out to the opposite side. These guys are stuck in a very hard place. We both bang out on the Weimar. I think I get the kill on that one. And rather than bring my back turret round, I want to stay a little bit angled because I'm worried about torpedoes and I may need to turn. But in hindsight, I wish I had turned that back turret and given up a little bit of skin and taken this kill. Because uh, he's gone off the map and that was a nice easy pickup. Now, I think we lost the Sean horse there and I'm going to start pushing through. Because the thing with this map is putting your ships in a position where you can get fire from two directions onto the red team ship. So we've already taken care of four ships and red team have actually taken care of four of ours. And uh, this is where we're going to take the brunt of the remainder of red team straight on the nose. Now, looking at the map, I'm saying, you know, look, let's let's come around this way. Um, I think it might be a Leon that's to my left. And uh, he decides to push into the centre. Now, one thing I didn't point out at the start was the Bayern that did spawn with us just turned and ran away from A Kappa. So it was kind of lucky that we did come this way. And uh, the carrier is sailing all the way to the other side of the map and for some reason he's taken his planes the long way round to everything. And the Weimar, which had obviously spent a lot of time spamming HE at these guys, um, is now running away as fast as he can. So I don't know how much health he's got, it might be a survivability thing. But we come around the corner and we're straight into the front of not one not two not three not four but five red team because as well as the four battleships out there there is the aircraft carrier and so um, i'm trying to get onto this other guys now and realizing i'm going to have to give up a little bit of skin to kite away and angle to them rather than keep going straight towards them the carrier pops up and so as I've got guns loaded I pop some shells out in his direction and we do a little bit of damage and we pick up a confederate at what is it 113,000 damage so we are doing too badly here but I'm having to sail away and actually what I'm trying to do is kite those guys out a little bit into the center hoping that the rest of blue team who were almost on B cap are going to be able to put a flanking fire on them. Now the carrier is going away from us and um, I'm looking and I'm thinking no we're going to have to turn 
and face these guys so we're gonna just pop some turrets and um, try and keep a fire on those targets now that guy is now is still there we're going to pop two turrets at him while he is focused and I do believe that he is our second kill of the game now I'm still very very badly positioned against these two and I do take some hits but um, this Tennessee out there is running so that he can get all of his guns on me so I'm not going to fall for that one I'm going to angle out a little bit more he gets a big chunk taken off him and uh, I land the high caliber and as I said earlier these guns are they just seem to be a little bit trolley with the dispersion we line them up for two more and we know we've got the other turret coming in we're um, calling for help because really I, I do need help I'm a little bit out here on my own now they're both turning bow into me which means that they are broadside to the rest of the team and we have got their attention split the Tennessee has got his attention on me and the other battleship has got his attention towards the center of the map so I decide that I'm going to turn around here and um, go head on at them we've opened up the distance we've drawn some fire they've been drawn out into the center of the map where they're vulnerable and I'm now going to turn around and head back at them and see if we can't punch some holes in people so we have three kills at the moment and at this point I'm thinking you know we're not doing too shabby here we could be on a crack and we've missed out on two easy kills at the uh, start of the game with the uh, Belfast and uh, we miss out on a kill there too because we uh, we don't get our guns round or loaded fast enough literally a matter of a second or two and we could have had shots on him but we punch that guy we've got the third turret coming round for a reload and we pop that turret off somebody else chips him off the damage and we pick up kill number four so potentially I think at this point in the game had we had a little bit of a faster reload on this um, we could have had six but we certainly could have had five and uh, the only ship left in the game now is the carrier now I do ping the map on multiple occasions to say you know look he's he's headed sort of over there I did see um, fighter planes or a spotter plane go up from there earlier but our carrier keeps bringing his aeroplanes across to this side of the map he doesn't go out that way and yet it is very obvious that um, the carrier is not in this area so I'm just going to keep turning and burning and let my ear, ear do some work you know we run 162,000 damage I don't think you actually get any points for shooting down enemy planes even though they do have hit points but with this not being the fastest ship in the world although we have got the range um, as you'll see our carrier just seems to be dawdling his planes around in front of me now I don't exactly need protection he could be screening me ready to pop up fighter planes um, I don't need it I would much rather we get the carrier spotted and get some shots on him because a Kraken would be really lovely in this situation we've already been denied kills twice so we see that he's bringing torpedo bombers around and we swing around into those but with around uh, 30 seconds left on the clock um, there's not a lot we can do but try and avoid torpedoes avoid bombs and shoot down his planes which he doesn't appear to have very many left of and we pick up a clear sky medal there we've taken a bullying through this game still no idea where this aircraft carrier is I should have finished him earlier in the game but seconds left on the clock we have got high caliber 
we've got confederate we've got a clear sky and as the game ticks down to an end we also pick up a dreadnought so i think even though i don't play battleships that was quite a solid performance and it certainly shows up in the team sheets because uh, unsurprisingly i do get top slot on the board and uh, the normandy that was out there with me he did a good job and picks up three kills too so there is a game of i don't play battleships i hope you've enjoyed the video and the talk through if you do want to see more videos please feel free to browse through the channel and while you're here hit the like button on the bottom of this video and if you haven't done already please do go down and click the subscribe button until next time take care and goodbye